I've never been more serious about something in my life. Hi there, I'm Golden Routes, and today we'll be taking a look at how I've never been as serious about something before. Um, pretty much in my entire life, you know. Like, I've been serious about some things, like that bike ride that I really want to do. I was serious about it, but I got to thinking, and I just wasn't ready for it, you know. Um, there are a couple of other things like that throughout my past that I wanted to do and I was serious about, but I never got around to doing it because the time wasn't right. Um, but basically, I think eBay is something really good for me. You know, I love playing the auction house on WoW, so why not take it to the next level and play it in real life, you know? Um... So I've never been as serious about something as such before until, not really right now, but until this whole eBay thing came about, you know. I keep telling everybody I'm taking this very seriously or I want to take this very seriously. I'm going to do like a, what is that, 9 to 5 job type thing, you know, get up early, work in the morning, do some research, list some stuff, and get off at 5. Well, I've kind of been doing that. I've been working a little bit longer than I had anticipated. And a lot of that's just because I'm getting started and I'm trying to set a foundation for myself and all of that. Um, once the yard sale season starts, though, things are going to change drastically for me. Mostly because I'm not going to have as many items to list. So I am going to try to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing when that happens. Maybe I go through and list some more of my mom's stuff and we split it 50-50 like I've been doing. Or I I could probably buy stuff right out from my mom, you know, like a whole tote for 100 bucks or something like that. You know, take a chance, don't know what's in it. But I, you know, just kind of take chances and stuff like that on my mom's stuff. But what I mean by when your sale season hits... And things changing drastically. Got this little tab over here pulled up. Um, I have a little list of things to talk to my friend about, and I'll let you. Go, I'll update you guys on a lot of this whenever we talk about it and we're done talking about it. That's supposed to be here in actually like an hour and a half or so. Um, but on our first top of the list or the first part of the list or whatever is buy and research something once per day from yard sales so what that means is whenever it's a yard sale day and we go yard selling I'm gonna pick one item that I don't know anything about and I am going to research it you know if I lost money on it or if I'm not profiting off of it or anything like that you know it's something that I don't list then no big deal because it was cheap you know and maybe after finding out about that thing, you know, I'm going to research a lot. So let's, let's just talk about knives for a second. You know, that, that really stuck in my mind because I was watching a video and this guy was looking at knives and it was just, it really struck me. I was like, I don't know anything about knives, but some of them do sell for quite a bit. So I was thinking, what if I was to do something like that? And then that's when I came up with this idea about researching something per yard sale day um, you know finding something I don't know anything about and just researching it um, so that way I know what to look for and I know what possibly sells in that topic or that category and I can start looking for those things and picking those things up you know another great example was this guy same guy was going around and he come across some wooden golf clubs you know I've got wooden golf clubs I didn't think anything of it because I thought they're just old golf clubs that nobody really wanted well it turns out that was wrong because people want wooden golf clubs to collect um, so just odd things like that I really want to get into researching and figuring out what it is I can buy at a yard sale that could possibly make me profit. So, that is my biggest thing right there, mostly because 
if I don't know what sells, then I can't buy it, you know what I mean? And if I don't buy something, then that's just less auctions I have being posted or less listings I have being posted on eBay. And we we got a store right now, so we're looking to get at least 500 items posted per month. All right, and then I'm thinking about doing one yard sale per video. This is pretty self-explanatory. I think if it's not a big yard seller, I'm not picking anything really big up at it. Maybe do a couple yard sales that I don't pick a whole lot up at. You know, make videos around five to ten minutes long as opposed to like twenty to an hour long. Like I don't want videos to be super long because nobody's gonna watch them. Um, and I know that because I've been watching some of these yard sale videos and about half I through, about ten minutes through. I'm like, okay, I watched what I wanted to see, and now I'm getting bored because it's literally just the same thing, you know, but it is interesting to watch other videos that this guy posts because it's different stuff each time, you know, and I'm learning what sells, what's valuable, what I should be looking for, and all of that, um, and then this is more of a personal preference I guess um, so two to three hundred dollars per sale week so that's my budget I want to be on a set budget my budget was a hundred but I think I need to up it a little bit just to be safe you know because if I come across a system that's gonna cost me 50 bucks or console you know system console same thing that's gonna cost me 50 bucks there's half of my money or half of my budget on one yard sale or on one item and I can't have that you know what I mean um, also if there's like a big lot of console or cards or anything like that you know anything that I'm personally collecting there goes all my money just in one thing you know if they're cards cards are expensive um, you know you can get a thousand for twenty bucks which that doesn't sound bad but in the grand scheme of things back when cards used to go for like five bucks for a thousand it's just really hard to think about you know because a lot of people don't want a lot of their bulk so I'm thinking people are going to be selling their bulk at yard sales right so if I up my budget then I should theoretically be able to buy cards and still have money to buy other stuff as well so as far as cards go, I do plan on saving them, holding on to them for a couple more years when the values go back up, and then selling them. You know, I gotta be very diligent about stuff like that though because I, it's a big risk. They could drop even more in value rather than go up. and You just never know, but they should be going back up in the next 10 to 20 years, which does sound like a long time, but time actually moves by pretty quickly. So. Um, there's that, and then I'm thinking about getting a GoPro, at first I was thinking about using my phone, but I keep thinking about it, I don't have the money for a GoPro just yet, but if I get a GoPro, actually, let me back up, the biggest reason why I want a GoPro is because I need my phone free to be able to research stuff that I may be questionable about. You know, I get into some yard sales and I'm like, hey mom, that might be worth something. You know, and then I'll look it up and then she's like, I don't know if we should get it. And I'm like, you should get it. And she's like, okay. Um, and a lot of that's because I, I'll look stuff up. Um, so the GoPro would keep my phone free, but at the same time, all I really need is another phone or something I can connect to the internet so that I can get the eBay app and I can just scan things as I go through a yard sale. Alright, and then this is more so for my friend. I thought about making him my researcher slash pricer. The reason why is because right now, let me see which one it was. 
right now we aren't selling very many items you know I'm supposed to be selling at least one item a day and that's where we're at but I want to do better than that you know I want this number to be 40 next month by the same time you know I want to do better so what this tells me is either my prices are too high my titles are titled poorly and people just aren't viewing what I am uh, listing or my prices are just too high you know uh, that's that's basically all I can think of is my prices are too high and people just don't want to spend the money on what I have um, but the only way to test that is to start decreasing prices and going from there so I asked my friend who is really good at this because he's been on eBay doing a lot of research and stuff himself for himself he doesn't sell or anything like that but he prices stuff and researches stuff for fun you know it, it is fun I that's my favorite part of doing eBay actually is the research it's time-consuming but it's fun uh, but I figured if he was my pricer slash researcher, he could help me sell stuff. The reason why I thought of the pricer is because he gave me two items to sell of his, and they sold literally the same day. One sold literally within like five minutes of me posting it. So, um, he's pretty good at pricing. I I'd say it could just be that they're hot items at a good price I guess you know I don't really know uh, but then when to ask for a better price you know like I'm going to yard sales to make money so when is a good time for me to ask for a better price at a yard sale you know because I've been watching this guy and he doesn't do it all the time you know I figured somebody who'd be reselling on eBay would be like, would you go down on this, would you go down on that, or, you know, could you go down on this, and that's not how it works, you know, so I want to figure out when's an appropriate time to ask somebody to go down on items, I've learned that if there's multiple items, so like, so there's a set of glasses, not like wearing glasses, but drinking glass, um, there's a set of those from like McDonald's or something like that, and they're asking like a buck piece, you know that's when I go and say hey would you do three on all of them or five on all of them or however many they have so you know let's say they have ten and I want them cheaper and I'm like hey would you go seven on all of these you know at a dollar a piece and they could be like yeah or they could be like no you know so I've been learning that that's about when this guy asks for a better price but I don't know if that's gonna work for me so I want to find out a better time or a appropriate time to ask for a better price and then I got a storage system in mind I can't show you guys it yet I'll, that, that'll have to be another video um, but I do have a storage system in mind I think it'll work but it may not so we'll see about that here in a bit um, then we got business cards so one thing that I am lacking right now is feedback nobody's leaving me feedback I've sold 20 items granted not every item has been uh, delivered yet so I have to keep that accountable but outside of that I haven't received any feedback out of like 10 items that have been delivered and that's bad you know like if I don't get feedback then nobody's going to buy from me because I'm not a wretchable seller you know I don't have a reputation to be selling stuff so I thought about having business cards with let me see if I can't find it yeah, this. So it says, thank you for your purchase at Golden Routes. That's the name of my store. How was your overall transaction? Was the packing, or how was the packing? How 
it was shipped on time or was it shipped on time um, these are just a few things to consider when leaving feedback for now thanks for shopping and I hope you have a great rest of your day you know I did that because that's my outro anyway so I just thought that was very suiting um, but yeah I plan on having business cards with my logo I don't believe I have the website open anymore for cards but that's okay um, and then making connections that one I'm just I'm a little not leery on but I am leery on it because making connections could go both good and bad directions you know so say I know somebody who deals a lot with cards you know and I mean a lot with cards you know should I make a connection with them or should I just be like okay yeah sorry I'm not interested anymore type thing you know so making connections could be good um, it just depends on the connection so I'm going to talk to my friend about that as well um, outside of that uh, that's basically what I have in mind and I do plan on taking this very serious guys like I'm taking this so serious that I actually am accounting and all of that too so I have numbers I have to wait until tomorrow and then I can put numbers down on week three really excited for that um, I've been marking down all the stuff I've sold and the amount of money that I profit off of it um, I'm actually taking this very serious um, which I feel is a very good thing because a lot of times when I say I'm gonna work from home or I'm gonna try to do something from home I kind of procrastinate but I'm not procrastinating on this you know this is something that I really want to do I really enjoy doing it and all of that I even have a quota over on my whiteboard I think I've talked to you guys about this before but it says list 20 items per day you know I'm gonna take some days off probably two days a week like a normal job it takes me an hour to list maybe 20 auctions or listings and then the rest of the time I can spend on researching and listing more if I want to list more takes me probably two hours to list 30 which I know that doesn't make much sense but it just depends on what the items are and all of that um, so most of my time isn't listing most of my time is researching and getting things around and stored properly and then the next quota is sell one item a day that one I can't control so that comes based on hopefully luck prices and searches and then my next quota is 100 views per day which that one I can kind of control just depends on what I post how much I post and all of that um, I'm thinking about taking like Sunday and Mondays off because they're my slowest days but we'll see anyways thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day